everybody, it's me for Girly here, and today is episode 8 of our cycle 1 in the 2000 watt multi strain garden. We've got a uh, purple train wreck here, a giant silver cush here, got three more silver cush in the back there, a Dynachem there, Pineapple Express right here, and today we're actually going to be adding this Dynachem. So as you can see, we got just one more Dynachem in here. Looking real nice and healthy. Pretty, pretty dark green, but you know it's veg time. It's got some uh, pretty decent node spacing in here, towards the top anyway. So uh, the reason I'm bringing it in here now is because she is a stretcher. The strain does like to stretch quite a bit. And I, I'm going to be putting this tomato cage on her just as I have back here on the one that's around day like early 30s of flower. I haven't looked at my calendar for this one, but it's not really gonna be the focus, these other plants. Um, I do wanna point out the fact that this is stretching and stretching and stretching. It's probably about six feet, maybe three right now, six feet tall, plus a few inches, so it's up there. <laughs> um, I'm not going to worry about, you know, adding those bamboo stakes like I've been talking about yet. Uh, I will come probably mid-flower or something like that or whenever they seem to need it. This one is still doing quite well with our little band-aid there, some little painter's tape. So she's doing perfectly well. Um, I guess that's really all I have to say about the main course of the room at this point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this tomato cage on and then I think uh, maybe we'll just take a look at uh, our feeding for this week. Alright, so I did a little shuffling. I uh, put the purple train wreck back a little bit back there in the corner. Let's see. Um, I moved this one, the tall silver cush, kind of here in the corner on this side. And then this Dynacom I put right next to this Dynacom. So what I'm going to do now though, is since there's so much close together and bunched up, and since we're just getting into flower today, I'm going to go ahead and lollipop it. So we're just going to do a kind of a small lollipop. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say a small lollipop, just to kind of get some of the underbrush that's not even going to be worth putting nutrients into. Um, also to note, uh, everything else will be getting fed today, looks like I lost a leaf there. Um, everything else will be getting fed today, but this will not be because it's still saturated from yesterday's uh, veg feeding. So um, they will go straight into flower feeding uh, as soon as they you know, dry out enough to uh, get fed again. Once they get put in the flower room now, um, at one point when I was using general organics, I would feed veg for about the first week or so of flour just to support the stretch but I do not do that anymore as advanced nutrients feeding schedule and flour seems to be pretty dialed in especially with bud igniter right off the bat so um, I think that helps get my plants moving pretty quickly and uh, yeah no no sense in using veg nutrients I don't think so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a chop in here and I'll be back Alright guys, so we have our Dynachem here, it is all lolly popped up. I took everything almost to the second ring of the tomato cage here, and I also propped it up on a crate, similar to how the purple train wreck is. This won't uh, finish on a crate, but for the initial stretch, I'm going to allow it to be as close to the light as possible so it doesn't stretch more than it needs to. So. <laughs> that and this plant is just towering over it. It's kind of crazy. Um, what I'm going to do actually is cut the video here for episode 8. Um, if I feel like I'm going to actually film the nutrient feeding for our week 5, maybe 6 or so, it's pretty much the same, uh, kind of in the middle of flower. Actually, you know what? No, we might be starting overdrive here soon. I gotta look at my schedule, so. Um, but anyways, catch that in episode 9 of the Cycle 1 here. And yeah, I guess that's it for this time, guys. Another Dynachem added. We'll see how she does 
Let's take a quick peek at this real quick. She's actually turning out to look pretty decent. Um, she just looks kind of funky all around, but the <laughs> funky but chunky, I guess, because she really is looking pretty darn chunky and definitely pretty frosty. Let's see if I can get right up in here. So yeah, I haven't uh, gotten back there to see how she smells, but I'll find that out probably pretty soon here and uh, share that with you guys, maybe in an upcoming episode. I actually have no idea what she's supposed to smell like, so maybe you guys can go ahead and spoil it down in the comments. Spoiler alert, folks. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, guys, good luck and grow big.